Hi, if you're new around here, my name is Jack. In today's video, I wanted to talk about the Philippine stock market and what the hell is happening into it. Before I begin talking about the market, I just want to warn you lang na this will not be my typical usual videos na madaming visuals. In this video, I'll just be mostly talking so if you're not into this type of videos or content, maybe just check my other videos or come back again another day. So with that being said, let's begin talking about the market. Long story short, the PSEI is on a sideways movement since December and currently we are near the middle ng range ng movement na ginagalawa ng index natin. The index is range trading from 66 up to 7,300 and currently we are at 6,900, almost 7,000 level as I was recording this video. By the time na mapost ko to, baag walaw na yung market pero hopefully sana hindi na tayo mag dip below 6,500 to 6,600. Anything lower than that, baka sa 6,000 level na tayo magkita-kita, technically speaking. Looking back a few months ago, yung flavor or theme ng stock market natin dito are renewable energy kasi nga nanalo si Joe Biden so malaking factor yung renewable energy dun sa pagkapanalo ni, ni Joe Biden. So if you look at yung, uh, yung pinakamalaking winner natin last year, one of the biggest winners is yung ACN or AC Energy because nga isa siyang renewable energy na stock. And pag tinignan mo siya ngayon, medyo nagko-consolidate na siya, medyo wala ng momentum. Uh, madami din factors kasi nag-SRO sila and dumami yung available shares natin. So yun, consolidating na siya and medyo nag-fade na yung, yung theme or yung flavor na renewable energy. Kasi if you look at other renewable energy stocks din natin dito like FGEN, uh, yun, nag-fade na din yun. If you look at BSC, hindi ko alam kung ano talaga yung pinaka story about BSC or yung basic energy pero yun uh, nagpe-fade na din yun if you look at yung green or yung green energy siya yun yun na lang ata yung last na renewable energy play na, na may momentum pa and sana magtuloy-tuloy na yun and hindi siya mag dip below 4 pero kasi nakalink din siya sa fintech which I'll talk about more later MM or Mary Mart ni Injap uh, nawala na din ito ng momentum uh, yun nagko-consolidate na din siya ngayon Pero this stock this is one of the biggest winners then ng 2020. And I think ito yung most successful IPO of 2020. So yung offer price niya ng IPO niya is at 1 peso and yeah, it's trading at 6.5 pesos. So isipin mo yung mga bumili ng, ng IPO price, uh, 6.5 times na agad yung tinubo nila dun sa capital na ininvest nila. So yun, congrats sa mga nakabili sa IPO price. Pero yun nga, since nag-consolidate na din talaga yung general market natin and I think this stock will also consolidate pero hopefully sana makarecover din to soon. The only interesting story sa local stock market natin ngayon are yung mga telco related stocks and fintech related stocks. Pero first let's talk about muna yung uh, telco related stocks especially yung dito. Uh, yung story na dito, it will launch na yung service niya on Mindanao and in Visayas on March 8. And nakatuwa to look back yung story nitong stock na to kasi way back in 2018 and then pinag speculate ko ano yung magiging third telco stock na corporation ba yung ISM pa nun yung stock hold ng dito yung Haven ba under Villier Group so yun, alam mo finally uh, lalabas na talaga yung third telco natin and it will be yung dito telecommunity nga so it's it's good to see na mag unfold yung story ng third telco natin though recently and dami yung interconnection disclosures na nilabas meron siyang interconnection with PLDT and meron din siyang interconnection with Globe and I don't know how it will play out para sa business nandito pero what I'm really hopeful para sa third telco natin is that it will drive better competition and better services para sa mga tao sa Pilipinas kasi if you really look at it, pag maganda yung services being offered by dito and sobrang competitive niya it will drive better competition to Globe and PLDT kasi if hindi, if hindi mag-improve yung PLDT and Globe, lilipat yung mga subscribers nila to dito so yun, I think uh, it will drive better competition and it will drive better services para sa atin. So I think yung pinakapanalo dito is yung mga tao dito talaga sa Pilipinas. Then if you look at yung fixed line side naman, if you look at Converge, recently meron din tong magandang uh, interesting story na nilabas because uh, parang last week ata, yung story na lumabas, lumabas na it will work with Elon Musk yung Starlink project niya and it drives yung stock price uh, movement, yung stock price intraday pumitek tumaas pero hindi siya na-sustain pero yun, ang daming interesting development story na pwede mangyari dito sa telco space natin moving on naman dun sa ano sa fintech naman uh, if you look at yung Premier Horizon or yung PHA uh, meron siya uh, backdoor listing sa, sa Squid Pay so 
it makes yung yung stock market interested sa kanya dahil doon and then meron din tayo yung Greenergy yung Greenergy naman um uh, meron siyang acquisition sa UPay Technology ng ABS-CBN so yun it, it yung fintech pag narin, nakarinig yung tao na may fintech parang or digital payment it it gives or it drives interest sa market so parang pumipitik yung presyo ng mga stock dahil dun sa story na yon generally speaking about our current market situation it's actually not yet clear kasi nag bounce tayo from our 200 day exponential moving average or yung 200 EMA natin pero currently nag, nag nandun din tayo sa resistance line or sa resistance trend nung trend line natin pag pagka uh, nag-drawing ka ng trend line dun sa uh, sa highs natin we're currently at uh, at dun sa resistance trend na yon so hopefully uh, mag-consolidate tayo about 7,000 level and mag-form tayo ng higher highs and higher lows which is really good para sa market natin pag ganun yung nangyari ito this is something that I wanted to add na lang it's something that I want to share kasi this is something na dinagdag ko sa pag-screen ko ng stocks ko and when do I have a more risk on sentiment and kailan ako more risk of sentiment uh, this is something I heard kay Edmond Lee ng Kalum Trading Institute kung paano sila mag-screen ng stocks so meron silang acronym na FTSR so basically acronym yon so F stands for fundamental so basically gusto mo lang naman yung stock na pipiliin mo or yung company na pipiliin mo is that uh, positive yung earnings so kumikita yung company then technically speaking yung T technical analysis um, gusto mo yung chart may play dun sa chart may play yung yung chart mo may may technical play ka and then uh FTSS yung sentiment is ano ba yung current market sentiment natin ngayon bearish ba yung sentiment or bullish ba yung sentiment and then R yung risk management so um dapat pa iba't iba kasi yan pero ako for me at least 3 is to 1 yung yung risk management ratio ko, yung gain ko must be 3 times higher than dun sa potential ko na ma-loss. So, bakit to naging importante para sa akin? Kasi I've been trading since 2017 and what I noticed is, kasi before, yung style ko lang, uh, puro technical analysis lang ako, uh, basta maganda yung chart, okay na ako dun. And what I've learned dun sa, sa experience ko, this is just based on my experience, kahit anong ganda pa nung chart, kahit mag, mukhang mag-breakout na yan or nag-breakout na yan, if yung sentiment, yung current sentiment ng market is bearish, madalas uh, hindi nagtutuloy-tuloy yung breakout, parang fall, puro false breakout, tapos magkakat ka lang ng losses mo. And then, dun naman sa support, hindi nag-hold yung support, tuloy-tuloy na nalaglag yung stock. So, yun, so, so that's something na I wanted to share and I want na I consider din na iba if parang hindi nag-work sa kanila yung pure technical analysis play lang. Another thing that I wanted to mention in this video is uh, yung current market theme, not just in the Philippines, pero all over the world, is yung uh, trading of speculative names and basura stocks or meme stocks. If you look at yung Philippines, meron tayo sa BSC, uh, AR, uh, Green, PHA, Vulcan Mining, LR, LRW. So, mga speculative names yan locally. And then yung mga meme stocks naman sa US, if you look at yung GME, yung GameStock, uh, BlackBerry, tapos AMC. So yun, uh, ako naman, in, in, in my opinion, uh, bahala kayo dyan. I mean, I mean, trade it at your own discretion, trade it at your own risk. Kasi totoo naman, meron talaga mga tao na kumikita dyan ng malaki and they will share yung port snap nila. Pero, pero in reality, mas madami natatalo trading this game, trading this speculative game. Uh, Pero yun, bahala pa rin kayo na kung gusto niya i-trade yan. So, I hope lang na you know the rule of the game and sana you make money trading the stocks. Anyways, that's just it for this video. I hope makarecover as soon as possible yung market natin and madaming manalo on the trades and investments. And ang dami kasing, uh, ang dami kasing catalyst na pwedeng mangyari. Uh, yung, yung vaccine rollout, easing of uh, restrictions para lumabas yung mga tao. Um, fiscal and, and monetary stimulus, yung create bill and fist bill natin, uh, lower reserve, requ reserve requirement ratio for the banks, uh, lower interest rate para makakuha ng loan, 2021 elections pending, so yun, ang daming uh, catalyst na pwede mangyari. On the negative side naman, um, to med medyo tumataas yung new COVID cases natin, I think nag average tayo ng 2,000 plus new COVID cases day before, parang 1,000 plus lang yung mga COVID variants tapos uh, inflation rate natin dito sa Pilipinas medyo tumata The last thing that I was mentioning about before malobat yung camera ko was about inflation rate so balik tuloy natin ngayon yung recording ko Hopefully, there's more positive catalyst na mangyari compared sa negative ones 
And uh, just be aware lang na I'm recording this on March 2, Tuesday. So, baka by the time na ma-upload ko to, medyo irrelevant na yung some information na, nil- na sinabi ko because of the charge kasi delay to ng one day before ko ma-upload. So, yun lang. I hope na everyone would have a prosperous 2021 by year end. So, yun lang. That's it for this video. Bye!